Okay, now we're going to look at past perfect. Remember, anytime you hear perfect tense, I want you to think past of sometime. Okay? So if we're looking at past perfect, that sometime is going to be the past. So past perfect is past of the past. Okay? And we make that using the past tense of had, of has, which is had. So we use had and then our past participle verb verb three. Again, those are the same thing. It just depends on what your teacher told you before and what your teacher's using today. But they're the same thing. They are the third form of our verb. Right here, eaten is our past participle or verb three. Okay, the way we're going to use it, again, we want to think past of the past. I really like this because we can move this idea up, okay? Because the past is something that happened before. Then we want to use the past of the past with that perfect tense, okay? So, past tense, I got home. I got home. Now I wanna think, what did I do before that? Okay, so we're talking about, again, the past of the past, okay? Before I got home, I had stopped at the store, okay? So that's what I did before I got home. Again, this is my past. Notice it is simple past, right? I'm using the simple past tense here, and I'm using the past perfect here. And as you heard me say, we then can combine these sentences using time words like before, after, and by the time. So I can say, before I got home, I had stopped at the store. Or I can switch it and use after. After I had stopped at the store, I got home or more likely, I went home. We can also say, by the time I got home, I had stopped at the store. A lot of times here, you'll hear already, right? By the time I got home, I had already stopped at the store, okay? So again, we're going to use past perfect when we have two times both happening in the past, right? The past perfect verb happens first because it is farther in the past, past of the past. The simple past tense happens second. It is closer to now, right? So first, second, now. So this is past perfect. 